they were the we knew we was going to have probably the worst time of all we were taken into their barn everything was in there that they wanted alcohol drugs sticks to beat us with and they would have their party the names that i have managed to remember this is hard for me guys because i find it very difficult to look at faces because it traumatizes me but i've been brave enough to do it in the last year or so the important people they don't deserve that name obviously but that's what i called it as a child that i remember were ted heath our ex-prime minister lord janna cyril smith leon britton and jimmy savile one day i'm going to be brave enough to do it all but today that's as far as i could reach i'm saying that i was raped beaten and tortured by every one of those names on more than one occasion also on the farm there was the torture barn and in there was an electric chair also another form of brainwashing and mind control i was sat in that often and tortured with electric shocks there was another barn that was filled with meat hooks this is where they drained the blood of the bigger children my grandfather would hang them up on the hooks they were alive when this happened the hooks would go straight through their backs and come forward out of their chest and then they would be cut from their throat down to their bottom of their tummy he would pull out all their innards and put it in a bucket then he would make me eat it until i vomited if i didn't eat it my punishment would have been put being put on the meat hooks as well and i wanted to stay alive there were underground tunnels with two cells and in those cells were where we put after rituals as well we'd just be thrown in there till the drugs wore off there were drugs used i was injected with heroin there was a drink i don't know what it is called i still don't know what it's called but i was given that before rituals and there was something else i was injected with that i don't know the name of either i just know when the heroin because i knew the difference because my grand my uncle was a heroin addict and it was him that would give me the heroin as well um so we'd put in be put in the underground tunnels till the drugs wore off after rituals i saw many children die down there one little boy who we're going to pay tribute to today i call him baby ben when I was chained up in my barn, waiting to be held, taken out into a ritual, baby Ben had been abducted and he was thrown in the barn next to me. He was probably two years old. I think I was probably five or six at this point. I managed to shuffle over to him so I could try and comfort him with my body and hug him. I held on to him. We were both taken for rituals. I was down in the underground tunnels afterwards and then the keys went in the door because the keys made a lot of noise and I used to just be terrified that they were coming back for me. I wanted to be left alone. I was in so much pain physically. The door opened of my cell and they threw Ben in next to me. Again, I grabbed him, I hugged him. I was in so much pain, but all I wanted to do was hold his broken body. He wasn't the child that they brought in. He was broken and he was dying. I fell asleep because of the drugs. I woke up feeling freezing cold. And then I realized it's because Ben had died and his body was cold and I was holding his cold body. Ben's parents still don't know what happened to him. He was abducted like so many others. And Ben is one of the children we're going to pay tribute today when we do our vigil after our march. There was one other little barn on the farm that I want to tell you about. It was a very small barn, you couldn't stand up in it and it only really fit about two people. 
They held the breeders in there. They would rape women, hold them in there till the babies were grown enough and then the babies would be cut out of them and used for sacrifice. One day when I was left to roam around the farm, I heard crying from the little barn. I never knew at that point what it was. And I went over and there was two women in there, very heavily pregnant, and they were pleading with me, please, please, can you get the keys? My grandfather used to hold the keys. I knew I couldn't help them because I couldn't get the keys. I was only a child myself. I carried that guilt for the rest of my days. They were screaming for me to help them as I walked away, but I knew I couldn't help them. The next time I saw those women, their stomachs had been cut open and they were dead in the barn. I was abused by dentists. Dentist chairs are a big thing they use for torture. I was abused by doctors, by the police in their uniforms. The police used to come to our home. They used to bang on the door, come in, beat me, rape me, chuck me in the car and take me. They used to take me to Buckingham Palace. They used to take me to Windsor Castle and our other stately homes. But I'll tell you more about that on the march. They would be there guarding these people, making sure that nothing got interrupted whilst they did their hunting games. I was abused by a headmaster. I was abused by a deputy headmaster. My mum traded me because when she left, she wanted to change our names illegally. So she traded me with them in the schools for covering up what she was doing. There was a hospital in southwest London called Queen Mary's, Roehampton. They have a morgue. Jimmy Savile liked this place a lot. They used to take children there, including me, and do rituals with dead bodies. There was another couple that had a flat set up for torture. I was taken there and left there for days on end. Satanic cults have infiltrated every single one of our institutions. And if we don't stop this, it's going to be too late. We have a window of time now where we all have to stand up and we have to be the bravest we have ever been in our lives. If we let this carry on, I can promise you this, they will come for all our children. They want their blood. Everything that's going on in the planet today is being dominated by them. I know this. I've lived on the inside for 10 years and I've spent the rest of the years escaping and recovering so I could be strong enough to do this. If you don't stand up and we don't fight back and start talking the truth about what is going on with the Satanists that are ruling this country, it's game over for our children. They want, they want a lifetime supply of adrenochrome. It is the most addictive and powerful drug on this planet. They will do whatever they can do to keep having their supply. They're not getting it. No, they're not getting it. They're not getting it. Today, we are going to tip the scales. Today, the truth is going to go out. Today, Australia have marched with us in nine cities, exposing. <laughs> New Zealand marched with us today. USA marched with us today. And here we are in London, marching to expose satanic ritual abuse. Do whatever it takes. We are all responsible for every baby and child on this planet. And while there's breath in my body, I will fight for them. But I can't do it alone.